Hello, this is Adam Stanislaw. Today we're going to talk about installing custom ICM profiles on a Windows computer. Yes, I said profiles rather than a profile. That is because you can have any number of them installed and you can switch among them at will. For example, you can have an ICM profile for watching movies on your computer and another for playing games or for typing text documents, etc. In this video we will install two such profiles. Both are available for download at www.pantareon.org slash PICM slash which is one of my websites. One of these profiles is for my ViewSonic VS12324 monitor. The other is called Uncalibrated. It turns off any monitor calibration. Please note that if you use more than one monitor, you can and should install one or more ICC profiles for each. By the way, if you're not used to properly calibrated monitors, you may perhaps not even realize how bad the displayed colors are. And you may even think the new colors you see are wrong. But if you then watch a Blu-ray movie or a TV program and such on your computer, you'll see how much better everything looks. Anyway, let's get cranking. Once you have unzipped the downloads, you can right-click on the file containing the profile. On Windows, they typically have the .icm extension. In the pop-up menu, select Install Profile. It will look like nothing has happened. That's because all Windows does is copy the file to the system directory for ICC profiles. Next, press the Windows key and select the Settings gear icon. Click on System and, if necessary, on Display. If you have more than one monitor, click Identify. In our case, it shows the number 2 so we click on the big 2 in the display settings. Its background should turn red to show it is selected. Next we click on Advanced Display Settings. From there we click Color Management. That opens a completely different window. In that we click Identify Monitors. It can show the same number as before or, like here, a different one. From the pull-down menu we select the display of that number. In our case, it is number 1. We make sure Use My Settings for this device is checked. Then we click the Add button. We see a list of all ICC profiles installed on the system. We scroll down and select ViewSonic VS12324 at D65 Pantaleon and click OK. We make sure it is selected in the list. We click Set as Default Profile. Again we click the Add button and add the uncalibrated monitor Pantaleon. We click Close. Back in the Advanced Display Settings, we can now choose either profile, and Windows will change to it automatically. We can do that as often as we want. The ViewSonic profile works for me. On your system, you will need a profile made for your monitor. If you don't have the right profile, www.tftcentral.co.uk slash articles slash 
ICC underline profiles.htm probably does. That's all for today. Hasta la pasta.